So Sin Killer J. Tachikawa says that uh, the food pyramid has been canceled, <laughs> much like Pluto and everything else in the world. Um, if I made the food pyramid, I think beer would be at the top. The day I'm filming this is one of those days. Hello, I'm Jebo. Welcome to Brick Tea, Sar. Be fab, I know what that means, I think. Anyway, uh, yeah, here at Brick Tea's Har, we like to uh, talk about Lego. And I've had one of those days that I'd rather forget. It has nothing to do with Lego. Um, so I came home and handled everything. And then I just needed to decompress. So I went outside, played basketball, didn't record anything. Just went out there, shot by myself. Shot some hoops uh, just to kind of relax. It is the technique that I use to prepare for tests when I was in school, uh, well, in college anyway. Even high school, I had gym early, so. Yeah, just went and shot some baskets and that helped me to relieve some of the tension that's up here. It's just been a very stressful couple of days, but more so today. Um, I'm not gonna get into it because I don't wanna reveal uh, too much it has nothing to do with anybody in the community here or YouTube. It's um, just having to do one of those things that people worry about and then it happens to you. And it's not a disease, it's not a sickness, it's not anything like that. But um, I, I, I'm being so vague. Why am I even talking about it? Because I'm not going to tell. I'm, I just, it's personal. <laughs> Uh, but I, I've gone through all the correct agencies to report the matter. So hopefully things will turn out okay. But if I end up in jail in a few days, um, um, BFAB didn't do it. All right, so um, <laughs> BFAB has... No, I've said BFAB like six times now. He has nothing to do with any of this. Uh, other than that he knows what Brick T. Sar is. All right, so we're going to be looking at this truck, which... I worked to complete, and it's actually technically not complete, I guess. And I got a small haul, and then that's going to be it. I'm wearing a beer garden, or not a beer garden, this is Beer Fest. I get, German Beer Fest is something they had in Atlanta. We went a few years ago. Yeah, very neat little thing to go taste the different, uh, sample different beers. and So you, the beer is free, but you got to pay, pay for the food. <laughs> it's a very good thing. Um, it would have been nice to have a beer tonight, but it's usually not good to drink a beer when you're upset. So, anyway, just thought I'd, since I couldn't drink a beer, I thought I'd wear a Beer Fist uh, shirt. Is it Beer Fist? Yeah, Beer Fist. All right, so, and I got a small haul. I think I'll go ahead and do the haul. Where did the cutters go? I already lost the cutters. There they are. We got Stanley's cutters, or Stanley, the cutters name's Stanley. Gotta be very gentle that I don't want to cut through to what's in here. This is a BrickLink order. It's, um, judging by the size, I think I know which one it is. Yep. So it's the one that had the base plates. Joey from Brick Trains. Uh, these are the ones that I like. I'm always, these were the. This base plate was the one that was in production the least amount of time. It's actually. It's the one that the um, railroad crossing, there's a, a train railroad crossing used these, and it was about the time of the RC train, I think. I'm not sure the exact years, but yeah, it was only in a handful of sets, plus the packs that you could buy them individually. So there was not a lot of these made. So people that are worried about the dark gray ones that they made a gazillion of them going away, these they didn't make nearly as often. Um, so yeah, these I like these base plates. So I got two of them, apparently. I don't remember how many I bought. And then the thing that I went to the store for is, of course, tippers. And I think there's 11 in here. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, 11. And that's it. I think that's the whole order. Oh, good. I got some bubble wrap. I can save. I could have sworn there was one other thing in there. All right, let's talk about this truck. I'm so lazy. I don't even feel like getting close-ups of this but um so anyway this came out in 1985 that's what the the copyright on here says it's a cement truck it's the one i was i had bought it was supposed to be complete 
and it was missing some pieces. I needed this uh, piece here that holds, it's a turntable piece to hold the little cement mixer. And then the uh, piece that goes over the wheels. There's supposed to be two of them, there was only one. This one in the front is a square one. Yeah, so it's, it's complete mostly. Came with the, the guy in the black overalls. He's got a little lever. That he can, this is going to be the worst review I've ever done, if, if you can call it a review. He's got the little lever he can operate there. So the thing that, uh, why this thing is not quite complete are these hinge plates. And I don't even know if this will show up on camera. <laughs> but they there's two different types. There's solid stud and recessed stud, I think would be the technical term. I think it's supposed to be the solid stud. And it's like I went through... Got everything else, and then I saw that when I was building, and I was like, "Do I do I am I that much of a completionist that I want to get the right type of um, piece there for it?" Such a simple set, 1985, but I think I do need to get the solid stud things. Oh, and it is um, actually has cement in here. The cement is one by one light gray tiles. I'll put the cement back in there and I'll put it in there. If I find out who did cause it, trying to cause me problems, I put them in there like that and just mix them all up and then uh, drop them in a lake. All right, no, I wouldn't really do that. I w I don't, I'm not about retribution. Uh, <laughs> vengeance isn't mine. It's uh, Yoda's. But I'm going to go. I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully in a better mood in a different t-shirt. See you guys.